Well, a better understanding of the men running around in blue costumes doesn't make them go away or behave properly, but sometimes video cameras do. When we come back, we'll sit down with professional rabble rouser, founder of We Are Change and Adam vs. The Man, contributor Luke Radowski, for a special segment on holding police accountable, featuring Robert Wannick, 17-year-old who was illegally detained after, well, stick around, we'll show you the footage. And Adam O'Freeman of copblock.org from the front line of the war for your rights. You're watching Adam versus the man. It's, it's really sad that cops get away with this day after day after day because it's, it's the kind of petty harassment that just builds egos and doesn't rise to the level of something that you can you know, make a campaign on and, and get some real accountability for. Of course, and it's sad that they pick on the weak, but we're there to equalize yeah. the power. And equal well, and fortunately now, I have to say, this is really exciting because our, for our next guest, there is a decentralized community of individuals united by their shared goal of police accountability education of individual rights and the dissemination of effective tactics to utilize while interacting with police. They call themselves CopBlock, copblock.org. They go so far as to call police officers gang members even. And as contributor George Sand wrote on their website, quote, this comparison is based on the fact that police, like gangs, claim ultimate dominion over a particular territory. They stake out these particular territories and demand protection money for reasons mostly out of the control of local residents. If their demands are not met, they resort to violence. Join us now for more ways to fight back, stand up for our rights, and hold police accountable is Cop Block founder Adam O'Freeman, a man who has stuck out his neck for your freedom numerous times and done the time to prove it. Mr. Freeman, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Hey, thanks for having me on, Adam. I appreciate you having me here. So we've seen in just recent years a real groundswell of these grassroots videos of, of cell phone videos now making headlines. And what you've been doing, getting that together in an organized way with CopBlock is incredible. Tell us, how did CopBlock get started and how does that relate to this, this larger social movement that we're seeing of people holding police accountable with video cameras? Well, Adam, um, I myself am a victim of the war on drugs uh, twice. Um, I found that the justice system doesn't provide much justice, and there was this need. And as an activist, uh, like so many else out there, I filled that void uh, on the Internet. And I created a website called coplock.org where I wanted to house police abuse and stories and how to get accountability out of these individuals. Well, I found that to be a, a daunting job with all the police brutality issues going out to the day, like you mentioned, and the increase of which I think is related to directly to the technological advances we have with YouTube and cell phones, but I wanted to be, have a place where everyone could go to share their story because all too, all too often when you go to the police, um, you become the victim. They victimize you. So coplock.org is decentralized. Anyone can share their story of a police encounter, video that they have, or ways that they want to get accountable. Um, there's a very active group of folks over there, about me and 10 others, who write, make videos, uh, do a multitude of things to try to show others how we can hold police accountable today. Now, I've seen incredible courage from you in your activism, not just in what you've organized with Cop Block, but in some of the individual confrontations. I mean, you've got, you've got quite an admirable rap sheet there. But we've just got a minute left. What would you say to the young activist uh, who's looking at this and is intimidated by cops and doesn't know how to get started? How, do you, how, do you give them, how, how would you give someone like that the courage to get engaged the way that you've been engaged? Well, first, you got to look, I mean, we're all individuals and we're all created equal. And so these are just other human beings and we're trying to educate them. Coplock.org is an educational place. We want everybody to bring their views there so that we can make the best educational decision as possible. So someone who's starting out this, I would suggest going to coplock.org, be active. Go to Coplock's YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the coplock, and see some of the ways that other folks, not only myself and my colleague Pete Air, um, but many others across the country have interacted. Learn your rights. I'm wearing a shirt that says, am I free to go? That's a great thing for a beginner to say to a police officer when they start to question Outstanding. you. Uh, Outstanding. Adam, exactly. I'm sorry. That's, that's all the time we've got. But that, if there was one thing for our viewers to take away, am I free to go is an absolutely essential phrase to understand how to apply to cops. Adam Freeman, copblock.org. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me. All right, so Luke. Coplock.org is a decentralized community of individuals united by the shared goals of police accountability, promotion of individual rights, and dissemination of effective tactics to use while interacting with police. 